a former American Idol contestant, who also appeared on the television show Fear Factor, could face up to 10 years in prison after she pleaded guilty to conspiracy to distribute nearly two pounds of fentanyl. Antonella Barba, 32, pleaded guilty in a Norfolk court Tuesday after she was caught by a police stakeout in Virginia last year with a large amount of the synthetic opioid. Barba was arrested on October 11 after she was allegedly directed by a man named Justin Michael Isaac to transport about 830 grams, or close to 2 pounds, of fentanyl to someone. According to the Virginian pilot, Investigators waited outside a stash house in the 500 block of Duke Street and at around 11.05 p.m. they spotted Barba in a car alone. When they approached her vehicle they found the drugs in a shoebox on the floorboard in front of the passenger seat. Further investigation revealed she had enough of the drug to kill 415,000 people. Barba will be sentenced in November and could face up to 10 years in prison. Isaac will face similar charges during his trial in August. Authorities said the drug ring operated from 2017 to October 2018. Barba was initially arrested in October and charged in Norfolk General District Court, according to the Virginian pilot. She was out on bond when she was taken into custody in February on the federal indictment, the paper reported. Barba, originally from New Jersey, was voted off the sixth season of American Idol before the top 12 contestants were named. She has also appeared on Fear Factor. She appeared in 2018 on ABC's Jimmy Kimmel Live for a segment featuring other Idol alums titled Where Are They Now? Barbara's arrest was one of the latest controversies for the aspiring singer, who also faced a felony marijuana case in Kansas. She was arrested for shoplifting in New York City in 2011 and also drew backlash in 2007 for posing in a wet t-shirt near the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C.